I've had dogs absolutely all my life and they always fascinate me. One of those fascinations is with their commitment to roll on dead stuff. Maybe it's me, but it seems to be especially true that they like to roll on stinky dead stuff if either the dog is freshly cleaned or my house is freshly cleaned. I'm Jenny from Big Dog TV and Big Dog Magazine. Welcome to Why Dogs Do the Things They Do. And in this little episode, we're talking about why dogs roll on smelly stuff. You can hear Stevie, my dog, one of my dogs, um, serenading this in the background for that, I apologize. But this is definitely an amateur setup, so we'll consider it serenading. So, our research on all of these why dogs do the things that they do, it seems to always trace back to doggy evolution. And like, you know, when they were closer to being wolves than the dogs that we know today. I wonder if that's going to be tr true with this particular behavior. Let's find out. We started with our beloved American Kennel Club, and I absolutely love their choice of words. You know that dogs enjoy this death linger, rubbing themselves in the dead carcass, goo, guts, remnants, or simply just the spot where something dead once laid. So good. That certainly describes my experience. But why does this happen? Dog behaviorists suggest multiple reasons that they haven't come up to a conclusive, this is why. To that, we say, aha. Aha, because researchers haven't come up with conclusive findings. They've studied wolves, foxes, coyotes, and they still debate some of these dog behaviors. There's something soothing to me in knowing that they don't know for sure. So that's even more fascinating. Let's, let's continue to study and learn. One theory is that dogs are putting their scent on the dead stuff. And scent marking prey is definitely an ancestral thing that was done to claim the carcass and ward off other potential scavengers. This theory doesn't completely make sense to Dr. Claudine Sievert, a DVM, a doctor of veterinary medicine in Kansas. She says it doesn't make sense because dogs aren't rubbing their necks and lips to leave saliva. Rolling on their backs seems to indicate that they mean to absorb the scent. Dr. Sievert reminds us that dogs sniff each other. It's a form of greeting and getting to know one another. I totally get that because like when my Uncle Chuck meets somebody and he shakes your hand, you can, you can get a little remnant of his aftershave on your hand after he shakes your hand. And then um, you get to know him a little bit because it takes a little while for your fingers to come back from being numb from that really strong, powerful handshake. So you know he's a... A, a strong and powerful, not the same as a, where was I? Oh yeah, dogs, dogs owe to PU, maybe to impress other dogs on the block. I like this theory too. I can just see my dogs walking up and down the street now. You know, not unlike our soaps and sprays, dogs may just think that grossness makes them smell better. We found an article on Outward Hound by Kylie Ora Lobel. And she said um, the same thing that we keep running into, that it's all from their wolf ancestors. She says that this is called scent rolling, and it's his way of channeling his ancestors. Like the commercials say, there's a little wolf in all of our dogs. And the theory that he wants to let his pack know where to find that dead thing for scavenging makes a little bit of sense. This makes sense when there's a lot of prey for them, when there's, this makes sense when there's not a lot of prey for them to hunt. There's not a lot of prey for them to hunt and maybe like the grocery stores are all closed. Dogs produce scents behind their ears as well as on their paw pads. So when they scratch or roll their head on a carcass, they just may be marking. Of course, another way that they mark is just to urinate on something. So in conclusion, we're not sure, but we have a lot of really interesting theories. 
let me know, you guys, if there's something else you would like for me to research. And um, keep in mind, I am an amateur just like you. I'm just a dog lover that has spent a lot of a lifetime loving dogs and learning about them. I'm Jenny from Big Dog TV and Big Dog Magazine. Please stay with us for another episode, and thank you. Until next time.